to Lynn's Recipes. Today I'm going to make a fresh fruit tart and it would be a perfect dessert for a 4th of July celebration. The amounts of the ingredients that you're going to need for this recipe will be listed in the information box below or you can find it on my website. The ingredients are for the crust, you'll need butter, all-purpose flour, and confectioner sugar. For the filling, you'll need granulated sugar, cream cheese, and vanilla. For the fresh fruit, I have sliced strawberries, sliced kiwi, I have blueberries, and raspberries. And for the glaze, you'll need some limeade, and you'll find that in your freezer section, and this is what it looks like. You won't need this whole can, but you'll defrost it. You'll need fresh lime juice, cornstarch, and granulated sugar. You'll need to preheat your oven to 350 degrees, and you're also going to need a 12-inch tart pan with a removable bottom. I'm going to start by making my crust in my food processor. I've already put my butter in, and now I'm going to add my flour and the confectioner sugar. put the top on and I'm going to mix this together until it forms a ball. My dough is ready so now what I'm going to do is spread it all across the bottom and up the sides of the tart pan and I'm just going to use my hands for that. Okay, I have spread my crust out evenly in my tart pan and up the sides, and now I'm going to put it in my 350 degree oven for 10 to 12 minutes so it can brown. My crust is done. It baked in the oven for 12 minutes, and now I have it on a cooling rack so that it can cool. Now I'm ready to make the filling. So what we're going to do is I have my cream cheese in a bowl. I'm going to add my sugar and my vanilla, and we're just going to beat with my mixer here. Okay, my filling is all mixed together, it's smooth and incorporated, and now I'm going to uh, fill my tart shell with it. put this in the middle of the crust and then I'm going to spread it evenly. Okay, side to side. I'm just going to start spreading until it's all covered. Okay, so my filling is all over the crust, and so now it's time to put the fruit on top. I'm going to start putting the fruit on the tart with the strawberries, and we're going to start on the outside, and I'm going to start just laying them down and slight, slightly overlapping them. And I'm just going to continue all the way around. Okay, so this is my last strawberry. So now I'm going to start with my kiwis and I'm going to go around this part with the kiwis. Same thing, kind of overlapping them. One more. And now I'm going to do another row of strawberries. Okay, so that's for done with the strawberries, and so now I'm just going to kind of scatter some of these blueberries just around to fill in where maybe some of the filling showing. <clears throat> OK, 
Okay, and now for the raspberries, we're going to pile them up in the middle. Okay, so that looks good. So now what I'm going to do is make the glaze. To make the glaze, I'm going to put the limeade in a little saucepan along with the lime juice, the sugar, and the cornstarch. And I'm going to turn this on medium heat and I'm going to cook it until it's all dissolved and it's starting to turn thick. glaze is done, so I'm going to take this off the heat and let it cool before we put it on our tart. My glaze has cooled, so now what I'm going to do is take this little pastry brush and I'm going to just start glazing my fruit. It's going to give it a nice shiny coating and add flavor. I finished glazing my fruit. The next step is to put this in the refrigerator and let it get completely cooled before we serve it. My fresh fruit tart is completely cooled. I had it in the refrigerator and I have lifted it out of the tart pan and put it on a serving plate. And now I want to cut a piece and put it on a different plate and show it to you. So, let's take a knife. And I'm just going to cut this in wedges. And I have left this on the bottom of the tart pan, so it's underneath here. You can try to take it off, but it's, I find it easier just to leave it on there. And here it is. This is a fresh fruit tart. I hope you enjoy it.